Lucy here, how are you? I mean, really, how are you? You probably spend a huge amount of your time and energy trying to do best by the little ones in your life, and sometimes this can take us over, right? I mean, after getting breakfast, cleaning the kitchen, getting little ones ready for nursery or school, organizing their activities, and then being on form to work or entertain kiddos all day, it almost feels like you're treading water just to keep your neck above the surface. You don't get down the to-do list far enough to check off those things you really want to do or need to do for you. The things that make you who you are as an individual. And then you feel guilty for even wanting anything for you, but depressed because you're lacking fulfillment. Ugh. And when you're in this state, not only does it impact your quality of life, but it also starts seeping into your ability to remember everything. You feel emotional because you're too tired to think logically. Your responses to your little one's actions are sharp and not thought through. And everyone's just miserable around the house. After all, mums are the centerpiece of the family and without us, there would only be chaos. That's why the best thing you can do for your little one and for your family is to make sure that you get proper sleep. I mean, could you imagine how much more energized you'd feel to wake up refreshed and check off all the things on your to-do list in record time and to an excellent standard? How much more time would that buy you to enjoy playing with your little ones or delving into a project you're excited about? or even taking time to exercise because you finally got the strength to. And what about your little one starting the day cheerful and with a well-rested brain ready to soak up all the learning like a sponge? How would it feel to get to the end of the day, tuck your little one into bed and then reflect on how satisfying life is because you're accomplishing all of your goals as a parent and as a person? It almost sounds like a fantasy, huh? Well, I'm here to tell you that this fantasy could be yours. In fact, by the end of this video, you're gonna have the secrets to make this fantasy your reality. But I know you might be thinking, but I can't get sleep because I can't control the routine at daycare, or we get home from work so late so I can't get little one to sleep any earlier, or, I can't do any sleep training because I can't handle my child crying. Or, I wish I could do something about this, but I just can't afford the expert help I need. But the reality is that you can overcome these, all of these. In fact, let me tell you a story about one of my past clients, Daniel. He contacted me because his daughter, Sophie, was basically ruling the roost. <laughs> she would battle bedtime with such determination that she would entirely strip off herself and her bedding to avoid going to sleep. Bedtime would end up so late and Sophie was so tired that it was affecting her behaviour during the daytime too. Daniel and his wife were barely talking and when they did it was just debating and disagreeing over what they should do to sort Sophie's sleep out. Their older daughter was suffering at school because her sleep was disturbed too, and the family was at break point. Daniel was genuinely worried that divorce was the next thing if the family didn't get things resolved. We had a chat and Daniel said he couldn't afford my services even though he agreed that it was by far the most important thing for his family. After two more nights of misery, upset and more exhaustion, Daniel emailed me and asked me to sign him up there and then, and that he'd realized divorce was going to be way more expensive than my solution, and that the investment in his family's health and happiness was worth more than money could buy. So he devised a plan that was tailored to this clever, strong-willed little girl's determined personality, and Daniel and his wife were able to implement the plan without any distress from Sophie. In fact, she was more calm than ever before. Sophie began to go to bed happily, and this meant she could get to sleep earlier, so she was able to get a longer night's sleep and wake up well rested in the morning. Sophie was so much happier in the daytime too, and her behavior improved almost overnight. The moral of the story is that even if you think the solution is out of your reach or too hard or won't work for your child, there is a way with a tailored and unique approach to suit you and your child 
and there's nothing more important to invest in. In fact, the cost of doing nothing about it is far greater and far more harmful for your child and family. I mean, think about how much it will impact your child's future health and success. Optimal sleep is vital for physical and mental development, and without getting this on track in childhood, it will likely lead to bigger problems in adulthood. And your sleep is vital for your little one's safety too. We hear from far too many parents who nearly crash their car from being so sleepy. Sleep deprivation can literally cost lives. What price are you going to pay? Or you can take the smart road, ultimately save money, and invest in giving your family the healthy, happy lives you deserve. The reality is you can get optimal sleep so that you can enjoy parenthood to the full with a happy and thriving little one. You and your child can have all the health benefits that come from quality sleep. Better mood, improved immune system, optimal brain development for your little one, and you can rest easy knowing you're giving your child the very best start for a successful future. In fact, I have a completely free ebook for you to download, which will hold your hand and ensure that your little one gets this caliber of sleep. If you want that, you can click the link around this video and download it instantly. But before you do that, I want to hear from you. What is the number one way that you and your little one would benefit from a rejuvenating night of sleep? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll catch you next time.